The second purpose for the bench hook is to secure your material. Once you have your bench hooks properly secured to the table, you can then take your wood, jinx wood for example, and place it in the groove that is in provided by either bench hook. Now remember, before you do this, it's important that you actually mark your material. So use a pencil, always a pencil, never a marker or a pen, to mark where it is you want to cut. Notice that your bench hook has different guides at different angles. These are mitered guides to guide the blade of your saw. So I want a 90 degree cut. I'm going to place my jinx wood in the groove that is provided in the bench hook, and then I will choose my saw. The two saws in the kit are the junior hacksaw and the ribbon saw. The junior hacksaw has a blade that can be removable and replaced, and be aware that it can bend. The ribbon saw has a solid blade that does not bend, however, it's limited by the depth of the blade. So you may find that it does not penetrate or cut your wood completely through when you're working on it. When you are working, make sure that you are always using safety goggles and that you are in an area where there's a clear and safe surface around your working area. I'm going to be using the junior hacksaw. I've placed my wood in the groove, I've marked it, and now my hand is holding onto the wood, making sure that my finger is away from the line of cut, and I'm using the saw, and remember I'm using the saw, not my muscles, to actually cut through. A good saw has sharp teeth. You will need very little pressure in order to cut through your wood. If you are having any trouble, it's because there is too much pressure, likely, and not the fault of the saw. Here we go. There we go. Very quick and easy.